Mga kababayan, I want to share with you a quote from Stand. Lifespans may be limited, but dreams are limitless, so I choose to live to the fullest. Joining us here on Kababayan today is Sean Wu, who is an actor in Stand. Uh, Sean moved to LA a year ago. In addition to acting, he's also a full-time Japanese and English translator. Joining him on Kababayan today is Bonita Pastor Munkal, who has been on our program before. She's lived most of her life in the U.S. with the exception of her teen years in Manila. Now married, she's a mother of three and is based in Los Angeles. And they're both actors that will be in this next scene after we return from break. But joining us once again is Chris and Arash. Hello and welcome to Kababayan today. Hello. 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 All right, so we want to be able to share this message to the community. Mm -hmm. And what better way to do that than through performance and theater and storytelling? It's so powerful, mga kababayan. How can people uh, get this to their communities? I love it. They can contact me directly by email. We're going to provide it for you now. I think it's best to reach out to me and and, and whenever you have uh, the need to share this sort of story with mental illness with your community, then I want them to email directly. Yeah, and just like how we're bringing it to the high school now, next week actually. Yeah. Yes. The first high school we're, we're going to. Okay, so Arash, let's talk about the scene that we're going to be showcasing okay. when we return from break. What is this about? Uh, so we are in the mental health, health institution and uh, Stan has put himself into a seclusion room. Um, Bonita uh, is, plays the nurse, comes in to try to draw him out. Um, it's a very positive message, and I f it's a really important scene because it, it brings back hope for living with that mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it's, it's such a universal message. Mm, that's the message I want to bring, yeah. actually. This, <laughs> this actually happened in my real life. So from what I can remember being sedated on <laughs> medications and everything, uh, this is what I brought to, to life through script yeah. form. That is amazing. I want to congratulate on uh, c congratulate you on that. You. Uh, to be able to use your own personal experience and share that with our community is very powerful. So, Arash, Chris, thank you so much for doing this. Really, thank it's you, important. <laughs> okay, um, let's talk about this scene that you guys are going to be performing as actors doing this scene. What do you come or what do you walk away with personally? I think for <clears throat> for me, I am um, I'm Chinese American, mm -hmm. and it's I think the same kind of issue that we experience in the Chinese American community as well, um, with parents who are from China. And when you talk to them about mental illness, they don't really understand what that means because when they were living in China, it's all about you know. Um, earning money, getting enough food to eat. Once you have food, once you have a roof over your head, there's no reason why you should be feeling depressed. Mm -hmm. So it's not really even talked about. So what I walked away with with um, this play being being stand is that, you know, um, you start out by being very, you feeling very isolated, that you're alone in this whole you know, this whole problem that you're going through. But, and then you, you realize that there's many people like you. And it's okay with your condition to still interact with the world mm -hmm. and, um, and to also interact with people and work with people who are like you. So it, it's, you, f you have a sense of a community and I think that gives you so much power. Okay. And it's something that I want my community to kind of also understand as well. So Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's Asian American Pacific Islander <laughs> Month, and that's why yeah. we're talking about yeah. this. That's it's right. important. Bonita, as a Pinay who grew up here, went back to the Philippines, do you see the importance of this for our community? Absolutely. I feel, um, you know, I've had family members who've been who have struggled through mental illness, and it's been hidden and and we're very fortunate in this generation that more people are standing up and speaking out and both in the American and Filipino community mostly in the American community the voice is out there already but mm -hmm. I'm really here to just help bring out the voice more in the Filipino mainstream mm -hmm. and not make disabilities um, A roadblock to being able to do what we can do because yeah. actually inside every person 
I know there's something special that they can bring out. If only we let them see that they exist, that they are special. Absolutely. And we can hone in to what that specialty that they have is. Um, with the right care and guidance. Absolutely, it's all about support. Here is the poster for Stan D. Um, email me. Yes, please. <laughs> the email is right there, chrisbelen.aguilar Chris at gmail.com. Yes. Let's get this into communities. Yes. Get in touch with Chris. He will bring this production to you. Yes. And it's, it's about time that we let this uh, become a, a time where we can talk about it. it's okay. Yes, yes, it's okay. We can talk about it. All right. Yes. Okay. Uh, so thank you once again for being here. You're when we return from break, here is a scene from Stand with, of course, uh, our actors here on Kababayan today. Thank you very much. Thank Congratulations. You. Stick around. <laughs>